guys. How's it hanging? Ah! Oh boy. Day fucking something big quarantining in my home. And I know you're all doing it too. And if you're not, shame on you. I'm gonna reveal your bored at home and grounded secrets. Because in a way, we're all grounded. My freshman year of high school, me and my two friends were bored and having a sleepover at my house. So we told these three guys to come over. They have to walk 30 min in a snowstorm. And we said if they actually came, we would give them all in a line. Lo and behold, they actually showed up. So we somehow snuck them into my basement and we put them in a line and my mom woke up. So we locked them in the bathroom and said my friend had diarrhea. <laughs> My entire school found out, unfortunately, so yeah. Oh my god. If you're listening to these secrets for hopes of inspiration on what to do with your free time, <laughs> that ain't it. So I'm in high school and a few months ago I was bored and horny on a Friday night, so I decided to check on good old Griner for any potential guys. I found this super cute guy that kind of looked familiar, but just thought I may have just seen him on Grindr before. I decided to hit him up. He picked me up and went back to his apartment. We a lot. The following Monday, I went to school, walked into history class, sat down in front of my teacher's desk, noticed his family photo sitting on it, and BAM! The guy I f was my teacher's son. It's all I think about during history class now. No regrets though, because it was a good hookup. <laughs> You're still doing what you should be doing in history class. It's just not exactly what's in the curriculum. That's what you gotta tell your teacher if he's like, hey, I noticed that you're sort of like dazing off here. Yeah, I'm thinking about how I f your son, which happened last week, so. It's history. Sometimes I watch your revealing my subscriber secrets videos just to get ideas on what to do when I'm bored. I'm so glad the series is helping you out, but for the sake of culpability, I'm just gonna put this out there that I, I do not recommend any of this. I always get bored. We all do. Actually, I don't, because only boring people get bored. <laughs> But once when I was nine, I put super glue on my lips and closed them together. I panicked and ripped them apart. Now I still have messed up lips just from doing that. Weird flex, but okay. I didn't think you were flexing, so no need for the disclaimer. Okay, so this is gross, but it's not incest or anything, so yay! <laughs> I have always had an issue with eating things I'm not supposed to. Do tell me more. Usually when I'm bored or just hungry and too lazy, like plastic, or once attempting to eat scissors, so this wasn't a new thing. But during a Christmas, I ate a candy cane and later, the wrapper. Nothing unusual. <sighs> what? It, just to be clear, that is unusual. Okay. A day or so later though, I had to use the restroom, but it felt sort of like constipation. To leave out a lot of details, I pooped a candy cane wrapper that was in pretty good condition once. Ew. Did you stop eating objects after this experience or we'll just have to spend the rest of our days at home wondering about it. I know I will. I like to fart in my dad's cigarettes every time he leaves them at home and yes I am an adult because I want him to stop smoking. I mean it's kind of working because he already switched from his usual brand of cigarettes because the tobacco tastes funny. <laughs> Oops I fucking hate smoke. I guess you're trying your best to do something good for someone you love <laughs> so so it's okay. If you guys are having trouble overeating while you're quarantined at home, just fart in, on, and around everything that you shouldn't eat but want to eat. That's such a good idea. We have two bathrooms, as most people do. I don't know if that's true, but... Okay, one upstairs and one downstairs. Generally, I prefer to use the bathroom downstairs whenever I need to dump, since the toilet downstairs has a bigger hole and, and whatever. You know what I mean, right? One day though, the toilet wasn't working. The bowl wouldn't stop filling up with water unless you fiddled with some of the parts in the tank. Anyway, my mom told my brother and I not to use the bathroom downstairs until we could get the toilet fixed, which was bad for me since I really had a shit. However, my mom was going out to a ladies meeting at our church that evening, and my dad was meeting with a friend after work, so neither one would be back until late. So I ended up waiting until it was just my brother and me at home. Once we were home alone, I went to the bathroom and did my business, figuring I could manually fix the broken piece in the tank once it had flushed. However, I love how like people wait for their parents to leave so they can change their outfit into something scandalous or like go to a party or invite like a person over, but you were just like, my parents are gonna leave and I'm gonna go fucking shit in the toilet downstairs. Yeah. However, what I didn't realize until it was too late was that my mom had turned off the water for the toilet, meaning that I couldn't flush. I was like, damn it, what am I gonna do now? Here's what I ended up doing. It's like, you know those advertisements where people are like, I was broke, 
And now, I'm a millionaire. Here's how it happened. I got a bunch of disposable plastic shopping bags, put an inside out bag over my head, and fished my own turds out of the toilet. Most of them anyway. I got the biggest one out, but I hadn't anticipated how hard it would be to grab. Turned the bag right side out again, still with the shit inside, and put that bag inside two other shopping bags. Then I tied up the shopping bag that the others were inside of, took it outside, and threw it in the garbage can. The one that gets pulled to the curb when the garbage truck comes. It didn't put it in any of the trash cans in the house because that would have smelled bad and ended up being even more gross. Anyways, my dad was able to fix the broken part when he came home, and now the toilet works again and everything's fine. I did actually tell my mom when she came home that I'd used the downstairs bathroom being unaware of the water being turned off and thinking that I could fix the toilet but I didn't say anything about taking a shit or the plastic bag slash garbage can fiasco. I hope my family doesn't find out. I think now's the time to tell them. If there's any time, it's right now. Show them the video, record their reaction, and send it to me. I would love that. Unless you're too ashamed, it's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force you to do anything you're not comfortable with but also do it. One Christmas, I was at home and got caught masturbating to a Billy Ray Cyrus picture and my parents sent me to a boarding school. <laughs> Is this real? I didn't even get to spend New Year's with my friends. We would always go to the mountains so that the rest of the year would only go downhill. Why don't you? Anyways, at the boarding school they were kind of mean. I'm not that smart and you have to be smart there. The worst thing that happened to me is really the most awful punishment that there is. They made me walk outside in the cold but with my coat zipper unzipped. That is so fucking weird. What kind of school enforces a rule like that? Like you act up, you walk outside with your coat zipper the fuck down. You can wear your coat but not on fully. It's like not that bad but also really fucking sick and specific. Spitting. I'm sorry. I'm not sick. It doesn't matter. You're watching through a computer screen. Really weird. Really weird. Really weird. Also really weird that you were masturbating to a Billy Ray Cyrus photo, but we're just gonna move on from that. <laughs> One time in eighth grade, I took booty pics and sent them to this boy. This was before I realized I was gay. But anyways, my dad went through my phone and found them and he was mad. So I told him I just wanted to see what my underwear looked like from the back, but he didn't believe me, so he grounded me anyways. <laughs> Just a picture of my- I just want to see what my looks like. Not just in the mirror or in person. I wanted to see what it looks like on camera. You know, because like the camera adds 10 pounds. This secret might not even be worth it, but it's the only secret I've kept from everybody in my life. Ooh, okay. Thinking back on it burns my body. Here it is. When I was 12, I got my first iPod. I went wild with it. Somehow, I ended up on form spring. You know, people ask you questions and you answer. Well, me being the imaginative little rebel I am, I decided, fuck it, I'm gonna create a fantasy world on this website. I blocked everyone I knew and somehow ended up with hundreds of random followers. I made everyone think I was a rebellious 12 year old that smoked weed and had sex. Random people were asking me all about sex and drug and I answered, telling all these crazy stories about things that had never actually happened. Anyway, a couple months passed and my dad opens my brother's door and mine and he says, okay, I'm checking your iPod slash phones. I had zero time to delete the app, clear my history or anything. An hour went by and my mom comes in crying and my dad comes in yelling. I told him I had no idea why I did it and I was just being dumb. I got grounded for three weeks, the only time in my life I've ever been grounded. Luckily, my dad works away and left for a while right after this happened, so I didn't have to deal with his disappointment. My dad has hated me ever since. That's a strong word. I'm convinced that's where it all went wrong. He's looked at me with eyes of shame for the last nine years. Not a soul knows about this until now. Oh man, that is so mortifying. They probably think you just did all of the stuff you wrote about doing because you wrote about doing it, but you didn't. I don't even know which, which is worse. Having your parents catch you lying about doing a bunch of nonsense or having your parents find out about the nonsense that you did. Uh, it, they're, it's All of it's mortifying. <laughs> I understand why the secret burns your body. I would keep it a secret from here on out. <laughs> don't tell anyone that. When I was 12, I think, I stole my mom's credit card and bought myself VIP on Club Penguin and a bunch of other random shit I didn't need but wanted. A few weeks after that, she found out when she got her card statement. Needless to say, I was grounded for two months. What a waste of VIP on Club Penguin. VIP on Club Penguin is never a waste. Let's get that straight. Also, where is my puffle? I love you so much. Mm, I love you so much. So I'm a junior now, but last year, for some context, I had some Xanax and some Oxy on me, and this one bitch apparently saw them that day. And so I get called to the office after lunch, and the dean and the police officer are there, and they're like, so we've 
relieved a concerning note that you might have drugs on you. And I'm like, no, why would I have drugs? But they bring my backpack in and they get the pills and my dad pen. So my parents called and I can tell I'm dead when I'm home. So when we get home, they start going through my room and find the rest of my pills plus carts and a few mini vodkas. And I'm still grounded from that. I also got suspended for two weeks because of that. But basically in June, I get invited to a party and tell my parents it's my best friend's house and I go there with her and that stupid bitch is there. So I'm like, the stupid Oompa Loompa looking head ass is gonna get beat. So I go over there and start yelling at her and she doesn't look mad at all. I'm a 5'3 tiny Asian girl. And so I'm like, ho! Oh. And I hit her in the eye and pull her hair and we start fighting. And we got separated and I got kicked out, but turns out I gave her a black eye and a bald spot. So after being mad at her for months, that stupid hoe got what she deserved. I also tried to hit her in the parking lot last week. Anyways, love your vids. Can you just do me a favor and stop abusing this person? <laughs> Give me a lot of anxiety. It's not necessary. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe you have a drug and alcohol problem that you needed to get under wraps and that's what needed to happen to stop, stop abusing this girl. I got a cat for Christmas when I was little and I traded it for a Pop-Tart. I eventually got it back because my friend's mom didn't want it and I got grounded for being the worst negotiator. <laughs> I didn't realize I could use Moo as a means of bartering. Moo, do you mind if I go outside and try to use you for some food? Because I couldn't find chicken at the grocery store when I just last went. Do you mind? If this girl can get a Pop-Tart for her cat, I can at least get a rotisserie chicken. I was watching one of your Revealing Secrets videos and it connected to the living TV. I did not know. My family was watching the video while I was unaware. Long story short, they saw some nasty secrets. I got grounded for six months off my phone and had to go to school every Saturday. FML. P.S. I like your videos. It's not like those secrets were your secrets. I feel so badly. You were grounded because of me? Because of me? Grounded because of me? <laughs> I'm really sorry that you got grounded for watching this series. <laughs> Those were your secrets. Before I sign off, I'm going to leave a link down below to a Google form where you guys can submit your corona slash quarantine confessions. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. I upload videos almost every Thursday. Bye.